tspntv.com. Oh, Maxine. God. Hey, <laughs> we are back and we did we you do have a puppy here, huh? We do. We do. Hi, yeah, I can't really call her a puppy. Okay, how old? Aww. She looks she's, like a puppy. She's seven or eight years old. Oh, wow, okay. she looks young. I wish I, I looked her young eyebrows. like that. I know it. She's adorable. Tell us about this little critter. Well, we call her Maxine. Um, she was somewhat neglected when we got her. Um, she only weighed 21 pounds. Oh my! When we got her. That's wow. tiny. And she had a large mammary tumor oh. that has been removed. So uh -huh. you might say that she's a breast cancer survivor as well. Wow, and, that's really cool. Um, yeah. She's now about 40 pounds. So mm. she was about half a healthy weight. Yeah, when we I got her. see that. Wow. So she's doing great though. She loves everybody. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's very sweet. So two weeks ago, I did an or no, a week ago. And no, it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And there was a little dog named Ginger. Was Ginger adopted? I hope so. She was a wonderful little dog. So, do you recall? I so. Yeah. So good. Uh -huh. good. Yeah. So uh -huh. yeah. And Ranger, who was on a couple weeks ago, got a home oh, too. Good. What about and, Lucky? And Lucky. Lucky. Oh, oh, got a home. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky went to a family of three. Uh -huh. uh, three kids, mom, dad, and another dog. I so. fell in love with that oh, dog, and it's been in the back of my mind ever since, thinking. I know I have too many animals already, but <laughs> could we squeeze one more in? I love that dog. I'm so glad that so, yeah, he have, went to a home. We have yeah. some very good adoptions happen. Good. Yeah. It's, it's always nice. Uh, you know, we couldn't understand why Lucky was there as long as he was, but we don't get in a hurry, yeah. and uh, we end up finding the right homes, it seems what like. What kind of dog was Lucky? German Lucky shepherd. was a German well, shepherd. very shepherd mixed. Yeah. Probably oh, some right. Akita, maybe some German okay. Shepherd, maybe some Chow. But a bigger dog. Looked like a like a big tough dog, but wasn't. It was. She was big a sweetheart. Well, oh yeah, my gosh! Yeah. He's yes. on his back for you to pet his belly. I know. It's it's so soft, soft. beautiful oh. fur. Yeah. So what all is involved in adopting a dog or a cat? Maybe. Hey, um, when they have become adoptable, they've already uh -huh. been spayed or neutered, <laughs> and uh, people just come in. Um, meet them, fill out an adoption application. Mm -hmm. It's extremely seldom that there's a, a reason that somebody is not allowed to adopt. Mm -hmm. uh, we will talk to them about things that they put on the application to make them think about what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, sometimes um, People have that love and they want to they want to do it, but sure. then when they really think about it, maybe it's not financially feasible, or maybe it's too big for their situation, right. or you know, various reasons. The matchup right. isn't perfect. But that's really the reason for the application is to get them to think about what they're mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone has um, a dog in mind that they would like to have, can they let you know ahead of time, like say I want a Dotson, if you happen to get a Dotson in, or a Chihuahua or something, and then if something like that comes in, you can reach out to well, them? Well, we do have a want list, but it's difficult uh, for us to have time sure. to mm -hmm. go through that. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you do have wonderful volunteers, mm -hmm. though, too. Yeah. We do. Yeah. That's a blessing, definitely. So, um, you know, usually most, most dogs that come in go out very quickly. Occasionally, like Lucky, there's mm -hmm. ones that stay for a while. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, most of the time, once they become adoptable, they don't stay long. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I had a friend. She passed away, but um, she used to volunteer to go up and walk the dogs. I didn't know you had a volunteer That's what program. I do. Oh, yeah. yeah, great exercise yeah. too. Yeah. Great exercise. You get to interact with the animals. I, oh. See, I would be terrible at that because I would want to take them all home. I mean, it's we were just talking about. <laughs> did you hear about the movie or see it? Hotel for Dogs, the Disney movie. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Large hotel, sweets for all the dogs. <laughs> And cats too. We're you know we're we're definitely love our cats. Um, what are your hours up there, and are you guys open on the weekends? We are open on Saturdays. We're okay. open Tuesday through Saturday. Oh, okay. Ten o'clock in the morning until one p.m. Closed an hour for lunch, and then from two to four thirty. Oh, okay. We have uh, one of the dogs up on screen over there, John. Do you know that dog? <laughs> yeah, that's a. Do you recognize that dog? Yeah. <laughs> that's a an adolescent age. Uh, puppy. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like a puppy. We don't know for sure. Uh, you know, he got labeled as pit bull mix. Uh, uh -huh. It looks like you could have Visla or Pointer or Lab. I was going to say sure. yeah, He's lab. definitely mixed. Uh, mm -hmm. he, you know, the pit bull characteristics, um, 
facial characteristics especially a lot of times come out when they're a mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, very nice outgoing. I said hi to him before we came over here this oh, morning. Oh, he's all puppy. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, so a youngster there. Yes. Uh -huh. And I know we had some other photos. Um, Sarah's working on bringing them up here real quick and then we can talk about those as well. But So one more time on the sweetheart here. What? Give me the facts on her. Well, she's about seven years old. Mm -hmm. She's been spayed. She has um, all of the appropriate vaccines, rabies vaccine, uh, the abbreviation DHLPP, it's mm -hmm. just temporary parvo and some other illnesses that mm -hmm. she's been vaccinated for. Um, she's been heartworm tested, is, is negative for heartworm disease. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, what breed would you say she is? <clears throat> she is probably Kelpie or mostly oh. Kelpie. Kelpie yeah. is one of the herding breeds. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Hi there, you like to be scratched. Kelpies so are similar long. to border collies or... <laughs> you, also have, <laughs> you also have cats. We do have uh, cats. adoption, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. there's one up on screen. Tell oh, there's a cat. Speaking of, that uh, looks like my cat, Charlie. Um, fortunately, this time of year, it, we're, we are getting a little reprieve from having lots of cats, but we have already heard that kittens are being born. And so within a very short period of time, we will probably be in, into this year's kitten season. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so uh, I'll mention that traditionally February is when Spay Day USA uh, happens. Um, that is a, a day that was founded by the Doris Day Animal Foundation and it's been carried on. Um, Lisa, what day did you say that was this year? February 25th. And what oh. happens? Is there well, something special? We don't have any uh, special programs, but in, in many of the large cities across the country, mm -hmm. they um, keep track of how many animals are spayed, and, oh, and okay. it's, it's kind of like a competition. Oh. Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, they're wanting uh, owners to have their animals spayed as well as uh, many shelter animals are spayed and adopted. Well, if you're not going to use them to reproduce and sell, I mean, why not spay them yeah. or neuter them? And APEL has, has great programs to help people with spaying. Oh, there's another cutie pie there. Who's that? Um, that is Blanca. Uh -huh. And for some reason, it looks like the, the uh, pictures are kind of being uh, distorted a little bit. Oh, okay, so not actual size then. Yeah, right. Blanca may have a little pit in her too. Uh, she's a very friendly dog. Beautiful dog. Yeah. Well, John, we're going to wrap it up and go to a commercial here in just a second. Thank you Thank so much you. for coming on the show. We look forward to maybe in a couple of weeks we'll see you again. Bring some new pets on. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're out there and you need a pet, come and see John at the Animal Shelter. We're going to go to a break. Stay tuned. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.